It has been four years since I first started selling on eBay and making YouTube videos about it. And I could honestly say that it has completely changed my life. If I think back to when I first started, there has been so many things that I have learned along the way. In this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about my early stages of starting out on eBay four years ago. Uh, I also wanna talk about three things that I absolutely love about selling on eBay. Uh, I wanna give some words of encouragement as well, some pieces of advice. Uh, that you can take on board to try and help you with your own journey if you're just getting started. Um, there's obviously gonna be some challenges along the way doing this for four years, so let's talk about those as well. Um, but then there's some really cool opportunities too that eBay has been able to provide me, uh, which could be the case for you too if you keep sticking at it. So there's gonna be a lot of info in this. It's a bit of a personal journey story that can hopefully inspire and motivate you to do the same thing yourself. Um, so let's give this thing a go. Um, my journey, when I first started out selling on eBay, Wowie, if you had, if you walk out the street right now at your place and you find somebody and you say, hey, tomorrow you're going to sell on eBay and you're going to make a YouTube channel and start documenting that journey. Well, that was me. That was the person that you were speaking to. And I just decided that the very next day, that's just the way it was going to be. I signed a contract with myself and I said, right, get going get to work. Uh, it all kind of stemmed from uh, the spicy cough part of the world. Um, that time was just so crazy for everybody. I chose not to go back to my full-time job and after four months of deliberating about what to do next, uh, I actually decided to jump all in on eBay and YouTube. And uh, I would not recommend anybody do that. It was just that it was at that point in, in time where you could do some pretty crazy outlandish things like that. And uh, I would 100% encourage that you just do it as a part-time job. Um, just keep your nine to five and just start learning the process of selling on eBay. Um, but that wasn't my journey. My journey was to go all in, learn it as fast as I could and try and build up a paycheck as quick as I could. So to do that, I needed to get the support of my parents. And you got to think, you know, in their, the middle of their working career, they didn't get the opportunity to take a photo of a product on an iPhone and put it up to millions of people and then put it in a mailbag. I get that the fact that they would have been really apprehensive uh, when I said that that's what I wanted to do for a job. Um, but I, I was able to convince them. They are amazing parents and they gave me the support to go upstairs, live in my old bedroom that I used to live in at the family home and uh, put my head down and try and learn things. And for the next 18 months, that's what I did. I spent 20 hours a week or 40 hours a week, to be honest with you, learning how to do it and 40 hours a week actually doing it. There were so many hours every single day, no days off to try and get myself off the ground. I was trying to do full, two full-time jobs with zero experience. Uh, both eBay and YouTube. Um, the first few videos were crap. The first few sales were crap. And uh, I thought that I was really naive actually to the process. I thought that I could grow a channel and, and sell on eBay um, and build a paycheck really fast. Uh, I was just blind to the fact of business related expenses, taxation, um, all these things that comes along with being a, a business owner. Um, I was blind to it. I just saw my first sale on Facebook Marketplace for some plush toys go from 10 into 30. I saw $20 in profit and I said to myself, let's do that 10 times, 100 times, 1,000 times and surely the numbers will work out and we'll be able to make this a part-time, oh, sorry, a full-time job. Um, wasn't exactly the case. I quickly realized that there are a lot of other expenses along with it and it's going to be a bit of a grind to get it to a point where it's going to be a full-time income. Um, but I was going to work really, really hard no matter what to make it that way. So Facebook Marketplace is where I first started. It wasn't eBay. It was Facebook Marketplace. I was flipping furniture on Facebook Marketplace. Let me know if you were there back in the day on YouTube watching those videos. I still think that's one of the best side hustles to get into, um, flipping furniture on Facebook Marketplace. So much attention on Facebook around the category of furniture. Um, so definitely look into it if you're trying to make a couple of dollars. But I quickly realized that to make this a full-time thing, I needed to convert to eBay, purely for the case that there were thousands, millions of eyes on the products that you were trying to sell. Um, at that time, it was very much fee-bay mindset for me. The fees associated to eBay was the big deterrent as to why I just didn't want to do it. You just got to give them too much money. Um, but really, ultimately, it's actually an amazing setup because if you were to create a website and try and sell a product and pay for advertising, you're going to pay all this money in advertising and maybe not even sell your product. With eBay, you're putting the item up for grabs and maybe only paying a submission fee um, to have an account. And then from there, the actual fee comes out once the item goes on the sell. So you can list up a thousand items and not pay a cent until that item actually goes on the sell. And yet a million, millions of people are able to actually view your listing as well. So um, once I got my head around that, I realized pretty quickly that eBay was a really, really risk-free way of going about selling online. Um, so the next thing I needed to work out was obviously what to sell. 
that was trial and error, but I realized that DVDs in the end did quite well for me, and they are still to this day a staple of what I sell on eBay. Um, I'm basically media. I've got video games behind me. I sell a few shoes, they've always been around, and DVDs. They've just been the three biggest selling categories for me, and still to this day, they do really, really well. Um, so that was my early stages. It was really quite tricky. Um, YouTube was always a part of the plan. I always thought that I could make some YouTube videos and make some money from that. And I thought that I could obviously sell a few goods on eBay and together they are a full-time income. Today, half my money comes on eBay, half my money comes on YouTube. And that was always the plan. Um, but together, while they are both part-time incomes, they make a full-time income. Um, why I love selling on eBay, why do I enjoy it? Well, the biggest one is the easiest one. It provides the ultimate freedom. And I can give you a really good example of this is I go for a run every single morning. Well, not every single morning, but maybe every couple of days I'm running, three to four days a week. And I'll always get a coffee at the coffee shop after I go for my run. And I always try and give myself a moment of gratitude for what, for what it is. You know, I don't need to go home. I don't need to have a shower, quickly get in the car and race off to sit in traffic and, and clock in for a nine to five job. I can come home whenever I want. I can come home at lunchtime if I choose to. And I'm working from home. So that's the other thing. I love the fact that you can work from home in your PJs with this job. These are all little things that aren't putting money in your pocket, but they are really boosting up that happy meter to being at its all-time high. And I really do think that happiness is stemmed from freedom. You know, freedom comes from, freedom gives you happiness. And that's one of the biggest things for me um, is, to, is to be happy with what you're doing every single day. You spend a lot of time in the job that you do, you may as well have a bit of fun doing it. And I absolutely have fun doing this. Um, equal to YouTube, equal to eBay. I love both. So to be able to combine the both and make a full-time income from it is the dream. And I'm trying to just make it the dream and, and have it continue. Um, you know, for many more years to come. But uh, there are two very big ones. The other one as well is that, like I touched on earlier, we just couldn't do this 20 to 25 years ago. The concept of picking up an iPhone, taking a photo of a good, and then having it send off um, to a customer anywhere around the world. What an opportunity. To even just say that I gave it a go, it might have not worked out for you, but at least you gave it a go. And in that time of... Uh, you know, the world being in a really difficult spot a few years ago, I just thought that was my moment to at least say I tried. And then I could get back into the footy industry that I was working in, or I could go into real estate, another sort of nine to five based profession. Um, but how, how silly would it be not to have given it a go at that point is what I thought to myself. Um, and it might be the same case for you too right now. You know, you might be looking at other ways to get a pay rise at your job, or you could just say to yourself, why don't I just start selling on eBay and just give that a go? Um, who knows what can come from it if I just simply started. Um, so that's another thing as to why I love eBay. We just get the opportunity to use it in this day and age. And there are millions of buyers out there ready to buy our items. Um, some advice. Let's, let's give you guys some advice for the newbies out there. Well, I would say, guys, like I touched on, just start. Just make the first account. Create your first account. It takes, I would say, four and a half minutes to create an account. You can do that today. You could start your eBay journey today. You could list up the first item at free cost by an item that you find lying around the house. Um, I'm sure you've got a phone that's got a camera on it. Take a photo of the item and post it up for sale. eBay, as a bit of a power tip, they love at least six photos for your listing. So take six photos of that item and then post it up for sale with a title that accurately represents what you've got to sell. You could do all of that in 15 minutes today, right now, and you're an eBay seller. You've got an item up for grabs. So I do recommend that you do that. Just make a start. Um, I would also say that don't look at it from an hourly rate perspective. You've got to remember, you know, first year Matt is doing 40 hours of learning, 40 hours of work. That's 80 hours. And trust me, I was, I was rent free at mum and dad's place, but I wasn't able to afford too much more than a, a couple of pieces of food with friends on, a, on an afternoon out. Um, you know, there wasn't a lot of money coming in and I was working a lot of hours and that, that runway to try and get yourself into the position that you need to be in uh, is not going to be a pretty picture if you try and break things down on an hourly rate perspective. Also, remember, you're a business. If you're selling on eBay, that is a business transaction. You are a business trying to sell a good to a consumer. Um, so treat it like that. You're not a nine to five worker on an hourly wage anymore. Um, you've got yourself a little business and that comes with different responsibilities and different time commitments. And over time, you will become a hell of a lot more efficient with your processes. And maybe in three to four years down the line, you could look at it if you wanted to from an hourly rate perspective. But geez, I wouldn't do it when you first start out because it's going to demotivate you 
It's going to make you not want to continue. And I really, really highly recommend that you don't do it. Um, keep track of your finances is the other one as well. Um, really keep track of it because it's going to motivate you to keep going when you see how much money that you're going to be able to be making from this. And it's also going to give you a realistic look at actually how much money you're making because revenue is the the is is the top number that looks flashy. We put it all into our YouTube titles to try and get people to click. Um, but true profit, true net profit, that bottom line, um, you need to have an understanding of it. You need to know how much you're spending on postage and cost of goods and all the different business elements associated. Um, you need it for tax time to be able to put in your numbers and, and pay the right amount of tax. So, you know, do that from the beginning and you won't give yourself a headache down the line. Um, and then finally, just, just because it's cheap doesn't mean you should buy it. That's another piece of advice that I've got for you guys. When I first started, I used to buy items based on price alone. Oh, it's two bucks. I'll be able to make money on it. I'll buy it. But then what happens is you get cluttered up in your household with a lot of stock that isn't great. It's not going to go on to sell, horrible sell-through rate. Uh, and then you start to get overwhelmed at the fact that you've got so much volume of stock and nothing selling. Uh, and you wonder why you're having low sales. It's because you're not buying the right products. Um, so just because it's cheap, don't buy it. The best sales that I've ever had on eBay, I've paid up for to get my hands on the item. You get your holy grails where you get those big high priced items for $2 at a yard sale. But ultimately you should be paying a lot more to get your hands on it more commonly and more regularly. Um, so I would highly encourage you guys use two apps. One would be the eProfit app. It breaks down all of your business related expenses when it comes to eBay for the purchase and the sale of that good. And it'll let you know what your true profit is. And then eBay will let you know how many of those items are actually going on to sell. So you're gonna get a sell through rate. And those two metrics right there will allow every single purchase that you make uh, to be a good a good buy. You won't have any bad buys if you were to do it. The issue is nobody does it. Nobody does it even when they're you know long into the game because they're lazy. Everyone just loves to buy things. So that would be another one. Um, you know, keep track of your finances and just don't buy stuff just because it's cheap. Some opportunities that I've had selling on eBay, guys. I have been on breakfast TV. What? It's just so crazy. Crazy to think that somebody would want to put me on their network and have me speak about getting somebody to sell on eBay. I pinch myself every time. I've done four or five breakfast TV stints, national breakfast TV, live TV. Man, I've been nervous every single time that I've done it. But I also look at it from a gratitude perspective of just how cool creating content on social media is, selling goods online, or working for yourself, speaking to the nation about what you do. Crazy. Anyway, four years ago, would not have thought about that as a possibility. And here we are. Um, we've also got overseas trips. I've gone on two America trips over the last couple of years uh, to, to, to boost and benefit my YouTube channel and my eBay business. Uh, bringing stock home to then sell to viewers of the channel and to the eBay customers um, has been a thrill. And um, it's obviously a business-related trip that I've never had. I've never had the opportunity to go on an overseas business trip before. And here eBay is providing that opportunity, which is um, yeah, pretty mind-blowing. Um, the other one as well is probably the biggest one. The biggest opportunity that I've had is to be able to make enough money to be able to hire Courtney. I've never been a manager before, never been a boss, never gone through that process of managing a staff member. And it was so daunting to have that responsibility, not only from a managerial perspective, but from a cash flow perspective. I now had somebody that I had to rely on, or I had to, she had to rely on me to make sure that I could give her the funds that she needed to pay her bills. That's so much pressure. And it was so daunting when I first did it, but I, I remember some really strong piece of business advice. And it was, if you're a business owner, consider yourself a chief recruitment officer. You really wanna try and bring good people into your business. And anyone that you bring in, you really wanna try and obviously have them help you better things. Um, so if, if you can hire great people that believe in what you're trying to do and can work really hard for you to get to where you wanna be, um, that, that's what's gonna build a successful business. You can't do it all. I can't do it all with the goals that I've got for myself. I need to ultimately over time bring people in. And for a first ever hire, Courtney has been the best person I could have ever imagined to come and work for me. She's so hardworking. She's great for the YouTube videos. Across the board, I just, I've been blown away with how lucky I've been being able to hire Courtney for a first ever hire. And hopefully she's enjoyed the 18 months that she's worked for me so far. I think the fact that she's still here is a good telltale sign to let me know that I'm on the right foot with doing the right things for her as a manager. 
Um, so we'll just keep going. But it's been a massive learning curve, no doubt about it. Um, but I've enjoyed every single second of that process. There has definitely been some challenges though. There's no doubt about it. I think probably the biggest one would be the case that it's just been long working hours. I think when you're first starting out with anything new, you're going to always invest a lot more time than you think you would. Um, so you know that what I touched on 40 hours a week learning 40 hours a week doing over time you definitely get more efficient but in those early stages unfortunately the challenge of just having to give up and sacrifice other elements of your life to triple down on what you're trying to develop is just a necessary frustration I guess that you're going to have to put up with and I certainly did that for a large chunk it was a good 18 months of just putting my head down and just nothing but work for every single day um, but it's allowed me to be in the position that I'm in now and to sit at that coffee shop you know after a run and have that freedom to be able to get back into my day whenever I choose to um, the isolation element has definitely been a real frustration for me as well this uh, last you know four years having Courtney on board for a few hours a week has obviously been great but every other moment in time it's just me sitting here at home in my garage chipping away. I think my personality type has slowly shifted over the last four years from being a complete extrovert to being a 50% extrovert, 50% introvert. I've actually started to enjoy the isolation and just the, the time with your own self. Um, so that, that has definitely been an adjustment period over the last four years. It wasn't easy at the beginning, um, but it has become more comfortable as time's gone on. So if you are an extrovert uh, and, and you're a quite an outgoing person, just have a think about that if you're trying to take eBay seriously from a, a full-time perspective, because that will be for a large chunk of your early days, very much a reality. Um, but probably the biggest challenge that I've experienced over the last four years, I'm sure you can guess it, has de definitely been the financial struggles. Um, you know, I was working a six-figure job when I was working in the sporting industry. Um, you know, I've been fighting tooth and nail to try and get myself to just even a, a job that pays the bills with what we're doing here. So I am still plugging away, obviously bringing Courtney in. It, it pulls even more out of my pocket. Um, you know, you're balancing cash flow, you're paying Courtney's tax, super, um, all of these things that go into it. And then obviously you're trying to um, you know, fight with the, the postage costs increasing with Australia Post all the time. And then you've got um, your thrift stores raising their prices. There's a lot of frustration that comes with these price rises across the board. Um, and then trying to manage your cash flow as well with the money that you do get, trying to strategically put that money in its best possible place to continue to grow and to keep your head above water. Um, really, really daunting, really quite stressful. And that is why I truly think that the best way to go about eBay is to keep it a very strong side hustle, make great money from it. You could do a grand, two grand a month in profit and then have a nine to five job for the true security for all of your bills and then play with the fun stuff of the profits that you make out of eBay. That's how I think I would do it. Um, if I didn't have YouTube, I would buy, I would play eBay as a part-time game. I wouldn't do it full-time. Um, it is so, so stressful and um, the return that you get from it isn't worth the struggle. Um, hopefully YouTube progresses and we can make a few more dollars there on YouTube um, to cover the costs even more so, uh, to bring Courtney into more hours because that's definitely an aim. But um, that's definitely been one of the tougher parts, those three elements um, to selling on eBay. But I would give all of that struggle a go again and again and again if it meant that I could keep doing what I'm doing because overall, I'm absolutely loving being a full-time eBay seller. There's no doubt about it. But look, guys, it's it's been four years. It doesn't feel like it's been four years. It's provided me with so many opportunities and learnings along the way. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to the next four years. These YouTube videos aren't going anywhere. I'm going to still keep pumping them out, helping as many people as I possibly can. Uh, and I'm going to keep trying to you know, sell as much as we can on eBay as well. Um, if, if you're trying to learn how to get started and you're, you're thinking after this video, yep, I'm actually going to make my first listing today. I've made a video right here, which is an exact beginner's guide of how to sell on eBay. Um, so hopefully it gets you off on the right foot. That's what this video has been designed to do, is to give you a bit of an insight as to what to expect. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, guys. Look forward to seeing you soon.